Hello, hello. Just finishing up my shift here with DoorDash. Uh, it was great. It was absolutely great. Have you guys been noticing that there's been like staff shortages everywhere? Like literally every store and every restaurant is having issues getting employees. Um, I've been seeing it everywhere. I think one place that I saw it though, uh, here in Raleigh, was at Circle K. I remember they have this huge sign in front of their, uh, you know, their gas station. It says, we'll give you $300 if you bring us an employee, you know. Uh, what can you say? Uh, they've taken the power out of staffing agencies. They've basically just thrown, you know, the fishing line to the general public, which is amazing. But uh, at first they said the reason why they can't get employees to these places is because of uh, unemployment. You know, the unemployment, uh, it was coming in, I think it was like 400 bucks a week or something like that. So everyone was saying the same thing. Uh, can't get employees because uh, they're getting that $400 a week check. Why would they walk away from that? That was at first, but the $400 is dried up. That whole thing has, has disappeared. So now, what are they going to say? Well, what's the excuse now? I mean, I'm waiting for them to just tell the truth, and that is... Uh, you know, no one enjoys being bossed around eight hours a day. Uh, especially since the advent of all these gig apps, it makes it super easy to not have to have a boss. You know, it's, it's a very, very hard thing uh, to not at least give a shot, uh, give a shot to, you know. Um, I know a lot of DoorDashers on YouTube, like Bentley Coop, uh, Pedro DoorDash Santiago, a couple others, uh, they had corporate jobs. I'm no different. I had a corporate job, vacation time, 401k, all that. Um, and I left it. You know, I left it and now I do DoorDash full time. Uh, one of the things I like about these gig economy jobs is like there's a little button on there where it just says cash out for the day and it instantly deposits into your bank account. You know what I mean? No muss, no fuss, no filling out paperwork. Bam, money right in your bank account, which makes it super, super easy to avoid alimony payments. I mean, the, to get your hard-earned money directly into your bank account. And I think these gig apps are gonna keep getting more and more popular uh, because it's like, with a regular job, you gotta, they're gonna tell you what to wear, they're gonna tell you when to come in, they're gonna tell you when to take a lunch. You know, it's like you're a fully grown adult, but you gotta listen to someone tell you when to eat lunch. Uh, among other things, there's 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 no freedom really in in that kind of life. Uh, which the irony of it all is, you know, if someone does Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, whatever, they're gonna tell them to grow up and get a real job, get an adult job. Getting an adult job is being told when to go to sleep, when to wake up, what to wear when to eat lunch, how much you're going to make per hour, if you want to raise, you got to beg for it. Uh, this is an adult life, is what we've been told. I think the whole thing is changing, and it's really beautiful. I'm glad to see it in my lifetime, I really am, because from what I could tell, the way America works, and I mean, I don't know, to my knowledge, the whole entire world, you get a job, you work there 30 or 40 years, you retire. That's how the world works. And there's a huge deviation in that now. And I'm really glad to see it.